Now all these men took as the text that led them out into the desert Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Give away all that you have, that text will say, in certain places, and you will be perfect. Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, these men practiced. And the curious thing is, as I already mentioned, the Christians from around Egypt and around the territory made journeys to these, these monks into the desert because they knew that somehow they had kept something essential about Christianity that they knew that the church had lost. In our text this morning for the Sermon of the Mount, traditionally it is read on Ash Wednesday. When Ash Wednesday comes in about a week and a half, you'll hear it again. But in all three of these passages that Jesus talks about, prayer, almsgiving, and fasting, the one thing that Jesus wants to make plain to followers of himself in trying to maintain a mature relationship with God is the number one thing is you have to always be aware of your motivation. Self-knowledge. So when Jesus says about almsgiving, do it in secret. Don't wait for the horn to blow as you do it. He knows the tradition back then that there are oftentimes people give alms, which was a classical thing for Jews to do, for the poor as part of religious duty. But we're also aware that sometimes you do that because people see you do that. We have buildings in name of folks sometimes, right? And sometimes it's done out of goodness of heart, but also the time is that sometimes you like to have names on buildings and memorials and whatnot done so everybody knows what you've done. And Jesus says to that, not Because as soon as you do something in order for other people to see that you're doing something, then you've lost that relationship with God. The whatever good was coming out of that has been lost by you trying to build up yourself. He says the same thing about prayer. He says, you know, don't make your prayers with a bunch of words. Now that doesn't mean that Jesus was against long liturgical prayers or preachers preaching for her. Well, sometimes the old pastoral prayers were preaching, re-preaching the sermon again. But he wasn't talking about it. But in contrast, he was talking about it in that tradition, many of the Gentiles, when they offered a prayer, 